Imagine being a tech consulting firm, one of the largest in the world, that is providing tech expertise to banks and other major institutions, and then seeing this on your desktop. This is Leo, and you're watching the PC Security Channel. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at LockBit, the ransomware that hacked Accenture. By the way, this video is sponsored by Intezer. Check them out at analyze.intezer.com. All right, so before we go ahead and execute this ransomware, let's take a look at this incident and what happened. So to start things off, if you're not familiar, Accenture is one of the world's largest tech consultancy firms with over 500,000 employees. So when something like this happens, it's not only the business operations that's at stake, it's also a lot of customer data potentially. And that is what the ransomware group is threatening them with. So LockBit 2.0, the ransomware that has hit Accenture, is threatening to publish files allegedly stolen during a recent cyber attack. They seem to have a countdown for when the files will be published. And as you can see from the nature of the ransom note, it is a customized message it actually shows Accenture.com with logo, so I'm guessing this was custom made. It was a targeted attack, as we've seen with a lot of recent ransomware attacks. And LockBit says they're willing to sell this data to any interested parties. They say these people are beyond privacy and security. I really hope that their services are better than what I saw as an insider. If you're interested in buying some databases, reach us. This seems to be a common tactic. A lot of ransomware groups try to discredit or disrepute the organizations that they hack, threaten them into paying the ransom to avoid even more negative publicity. Now, according to Accenture, they actually were able to recover from a backup, which is likely why the threat is more around the stolen data here. And going through some of these details as provided by Accenture, it seems like this was a case of endpoint security and response working out. It seems like they identified irregular activity in one of their environments and immediately contained the matter and isolated affected servers. Now, if this was a few years ago and we were talking about the first generations of ransomware, that would be the end of the story. Restored from backup, happy ending. But unfortunately, Modern ransomware like LockBit 2.0 are more dangerous than that. It seems six terabytes of files were potentially stolen in this case. And if you are a technology consulting company with the number of clients that Accenture has, there could be a lot of confidential data, a lot of NDA data in there, which is, of course, a security nightmare. Now, the ransomware authors apparently have a $50 million ransom demand. We had a very similar situation earlier in the year with the R Evil group. They had a lot of tech companies. So there is a little bit of a prelude to this. Now we're going to take a look at the threat itself. So first we're going to go ahead and execute it on this task VM and see what happens. As you can see, we have LockBit ready to go over here. Just going to go ahead and run it. Immediately we have a new local disk that's created, disk Y. I'll open up Task Manager so you can take a look at the system activity and performance. As you can see, it's not really hard to tell what's happening here. You have a process called LockBit. It's likely encrypting our data as we speak. Now, I forgot to mention that on this system, we have the last copies of Shakespeare, and now they're gone. So all of these great plays are now encrypted. And if you were playing one of the characters, I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to do it in prompt two. Your lines are gone. But as you can see, our data has been transformed into .lockbed files. And of course, you cannot open these. They also have a custom logo. Now we have an application on the desktop as well. And it says lockbed 2.0. All your important files are stolen and encrypted. This is one of the more high-tech style designs I've seen with ransomware. A lot of them are old school pixel art type of designs. This looks a lot more professional, if I may say so. It says there's only one way to get your files back through a standard browser or through Tor browser. And there's some warnings on the right, like do not rename encrypted files. Do not try to decrypt using third party software. Decryption of your files with the help of third parties may cause increased price. They add their fee to our. <laughs> Funny they mentioned that, because that is actually true in some cases. All your stolen data will be loaded into our blog if you do not pay the ransom. So that's the ransom note for LockBit. Let's see if we can close this with a quick Alt F4. Yes, we can. It's trying to open the ransom page on our browser. It has also changed the desktop background. 
Would you like to earn millions of dollars? Our company acquire access to networks of various companies as well as insider information that can help steal the most valuable data of any company. So they have some kind of dark web advertising going on right on your desktop background. And the funny thing is they still seem to mess up their English no matter how much they invest in design. So that's a strange trend in ransomware. You would think that if they are putting in all this effort into trying to appear legitimate and getting the ransom, they could at least like hire a person who has English as first language to read and <laughs> to read the ransom note and correct it. But I'm sure for the people dealing with this at Accenture, this was not funny at all. I've spoken to some people who've gone through these situations and it's an absolute nightmare. Luckily in this case, it seems they have backup, so the damage is somewhat contained, but of course, if your data is stolen, there's still a lot of loose ends that are hanging and you could still suffer considerable damage. Now we're going to look at some of the detections. So as you can see, it's detected by 59 engines on Vars total, but that is of course after the attack. Now we're going to take a look at it in Intizer. As you can see, this is identified as Lockbit ransomware. It's one of the malware families that's already defined within Intizer. Intizer, of course, uses genetic analysis to identify threats and similar threats as well. So we can see that this picks up from Venus ransomware. There are a few genes that are similar, but largely there's no predecessor to this threat other than, I believe, Lockbit 1.0. If we take a look at TTPs, we can actually see a lot of the MITER techniques used by this threat. So, for example, it does have a persistence component. So it's going to auto start at boot or log on, has some registry run keys or startup folder, also undergoes defense evasion. So it removes indicators, clears windows event logs. So again, if you're an analyst and you're trying to get any kind of information from the windows event logs, you're not gonna find that here. In terms of discovery, it has process discovery and collection there is data that is staged. So it does have that info stealer component. Now we can see some of the details here and their severity. So it attempts to delete or modify volume shadow copies, very common among ransomware because this prevents the inherent Windows backup functionality from working. Modifies boot configuration settings, of course has an auto run, clears event logs. If we click on the IOCs, you can actually see it's pretty much the main file that does all the heavy lifting. So there's no additional payload that's downloaded. In terms of behavior, now interestingly, I noticed some differences between the sandbox here, which is Cape Sandbox. Of course, we can see it running CMD, trying to delete the shadow copies using VSS admin, but there seems to be a crash pretty soon after. Now, on the last line sandbox in Vars Total, you can see some more of the encryption behavior happening. So perhaps it has some kind of evasion capability as well. Now, if you would like to identify these threats, and find them before they hit you or create a generic rule for them, your rules are quite handy and Intizer can actually generate them automatically for you. So you can just click on the vaccine option and select Yara and it's just going to download the Yara rule for you. And if you click on open, as you will see, there's a custom rule that's set up for this threat that is ready to go. So you don't have to write it. I remember back in the day when I started doing threat analysis, I had to write these things myself. Whereas now you can just select a button and the whole thing is automated and it finds the patterns that you can use to detect similar threats in the future. If you'd like to go through the analysis of this threat like I'm doing over here, feel free to check out analyze.intizer.com. You can create an account and use this for free. I'm actually going to include the link to this threat in the description. So if you're interested and you wanna go through the genetic analysis, you can do so. You can also analyze other threats, of course. So check out Intizer. Show them some love for sponsoring the PC Security channel. And please like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends, helps us spread awareness. If you're wondering what you can do to protect yourself, it's very important to back up your data. Again, lesson learned here. One of the major reasons that the ransom was probably not paid in this instance is that they were able to restore from backup. So make sure that your backups are not only performed, but also ready to go and functional. Because in a lot of cases, even though there's backups on paper, the capability to restore from backup and have an operational system in a reasonable time frame is not there. And that's what's important. Also, 
Endpoint security and incident response is very important, so make sure you have those capabilities and use good protection. Saves you a lot of headache. If you're wondering what is good protection, we have a full playlist testing every single vendor under the sun against all sorts of threats on the PC security channel, so make sure you check those out. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC security channel for more on cybersecurity. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay informed. Stay secure.